I haven't updated my portfolio in six years. Ah, and we all know that there's no project designers like to procrastinate more than their own portfolio. So here's my challenge. First, I'll do a portfolio in just one hour, just to have something online as soon as possible. Then I'll do a better portfolio in 10 hours. And finally, I'll spend 100 hours to build an award worthy portfolio. But the problem is I've never actually used some of these fancy animation techniques that win awards these days. And I'm gonna have to learn it on the fly, but we'll figure that out when we'll get there. So here are the ground rules for this challenge. Number one, I must use the same tool for all three portfolios. I'm going to use Webflow, which is my favorite visual development platform. Number two, I must use the same five projects in all three portfolios. And number three, when the time is up, I'm done. Whatever I have ready, that goes live. Ready? Let's do it. All right, let's start the timer and I am starting one hour right now. Okay, so let's see what we have. All we have at this point is five basic composition of the project. They're all web design project and I only have a single image for each project. That's what I have right now. I try to make like a cool composition with a background so it's not just a screenshot of a website. That's usually boring in a portfolio. So I try to make the compositions a little bit interesting, but that's what we have. Okay, in one hour, there's actually no way that we're going to develop and build a whole portfolio website from scratch in one hour. So I'm going to have to use a, a template. I'm going to have to use a template and that's it. You know what? Time is money and I can spend a little bit of uh, money to save up a bunch of time. So I'm heading into the Webflow template store. Of course there is free ones, but they're usually not as good as the paid ones. So heading into portfolio templates and the way I'm going to use my hour, I think I'm going to use about 20 minutes to try to review what template best fit my needs and you know, the style that I like then about 20 more minutes to try to set up and upload the work and leave about 20 minutes to review the text, copy, all that kind of stuff to make sure that it's, it's good and then publish it. All right, so already wasted almost more than a minute or two. Let's get started. Okay, so it's been 10 minutes. I know I've dedicated, I decided to dedicate 20 minutes, but after 10 minutes, I actually think on the one hand, you can actually spend hours doing this. There's just so many templates. You can spend days trying to choose from them. So it's good that I've kind of like limited my time, but actually after 10 minutes, I think I've found something that I like. At the end of the day, I think this one is the best for me. This template it is called Kai. It has a small introduction text with a small image, too small for my liking, but I think that can work. It has big images with a little bit of information on each project, which is great. Uh, it doesn't have a blog, doesn't have too much stuff. It's a small about section and this experience, which I don't know, maybe I'll even remove that kind of stuff and a footer. So it's really, really minimalistic. The style is so clean that I don't feel like I have to change anything. There's not a lot of personality into this. It's just clean and looks nice. So I think I'll work with that. Let's go ahead and buy this and start replacing the content itself. Okay, so I've replaced the CMS. I've uploaded my projects into the CMS and you can basically see that they have updated here. Um, for some reason, they're not ordered the way that I want them. So there's project number four and then project number three and number two. Um, I assume that's going to be pretty easy to go to the collection list wrapper settings and do sort created, not sort by created on but by the ordinal number that we have here. And if I do save, yep, now we've got project number one, number two, number three, number four, number five. So we've got that and I still got 35 minutes to go. So now all I have to do is start replacing the text here. Okay, it has been exactly 41 minutes and I'm actually done. I've replaced the text, replaced the links, replaced, uh, yeah, everything that I needed, replaced images of myself. I basically opened up their image to see what size it was and I dropped my image. Uh, Replace the text with some text that better resonates with me. Services was actually exactly my services, so I didn't have to change anything. Replace the links to social media links, replace the link 
here for me. And the beautiful thing about this template is it's already fully responsive. So basically I'm done. All I have to do now is hit publish here and then we can hit publish and Webflow is publishing it even to their own domain. Of course, now I have to connect it to my own domain, but it is great. It is fully published. It is responsive. Um, and that is great. Is this portfolio award-winning? No. Is it unique? No, probably a bunch of people are <laughs> buying this template as well, but do clients know this? Do clients notice that this is a template? No, it just looks good. It showcased my work and a proof of my work. So I'm reachable. There's absolutely no excuse now not to do a portfolio. I've done it in 41 minutes. All right, so now that's done, stress reduced. Now we can move into the more interesting project and see what I can do in 10 hours and then 100 hours. That now seems a little bit overwhelming, but I'm sure it's gonna be fun. Let's take a power nap and get back to the next project. All right, it is time to start the 10 hour portfolio. And here's my strategy for this project. I'm going to use Reloom. Reloom is basically a huge component library for both Figma and Webflow. So what that means is I'm going to have inspiration for a lot of different layouts that I can choose from. And then I can play around and start playing around with what fonts and typography I'm going to use, and then a little bit of color palettes. Now, in general, in design projects where you have more time, it's not just one hour project. What you wanna do is you want to explore a lot of options and then pick one. And then again, try a lot of different things and then pick one. So that's what I'm going to try and do with this 10 hour project. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use Reloom's AI uh, site builder. Um, although it's a very simple one page portfolio, I still wanna see what sections it's going to uh, give me and perhaps it's gonna help me out with a copy a little bit. So let's get started with that, bring it into Figma and start seeing where we are. All right, so I'm 30 minutes in and I've got basically a wireframe already set up in Figma. And let me show you how I'm thinking about this. So while uh, Reloom created the basic structure for me and the structure that I wanted was a hero section, then kind of like an about section where I can write something like uh, whatever, manifest or something like this, then seeing my portfolio pieces, seeing them big, and then having a more robust about section, maybe put a, a photo of me teaching somewhere or something like this, maybe put a bunch of testimonials, uh, not for clients, maybe from students who took my courses, and then basically the contact us is going to be follow on all social media things and a footer. So that's basically the structure, but as I was Taking a look at the different components for the hero section, I started asking myself, what kind of image or what do I wanna have in the hero section? And you know, I've got a few photos that were kind of like professionally taking. I'm not super happy with any of them, so I'm not sure I actually wanna use any of them uh, in the hero section. I do have these nice uh, photos of me kind of like teaching Webflow and with Flux students. Maybe I'll use these in the about section, but I'm not super happy about these to kind of go with the hero section. And then I thought, why don't I do something a little bit more personal? And I remember I actually saw on on Dan Petty's website, uh, he has kind of like a video of himself kind of like pointing at the text where it's kind of like a video playing. And I thought, well, most people know me from YouTube, from videos, so why don't I put kind of like the familiar YouTube setup right here with a video running in the background that shows something. Maybe I'll do something funny with my kids uh, when they're climbing on me. So I think that can actually be something pretty cool. So I've put here a placeholder component for a video and I've got everything here. So I think my first step is going to be to review the copy and change the text to actual text that I'll be using. Then I'll go ahead to produce the video and then start putting in the assets and then starting to experimenting with colors and, uh, and typography. I still got a lot of time done. So let's get that going. All right, so we are about three hours in to this portfolio project. I've got, I recorded the video, I've put in some text, I've put in the project. I have to say at this point, I'm not really impressed with where we are. This looks kind of crappy. Uh, it looks much worse than the portfolio we did in one hour. So it's time to step things up. It's time to look at font inspiration, some colors, trying to make this look better.
All right, so we are seven hours into the 10 hour portfolio. Let me show you uh, what I've got so far. So I've started off by experimenting or looking for some uh, fonts that I thought could be pretty cool. I narrowed it down to two. This one, Power Grotesque, and the other one is Brity Suns, which is the new uh, font that we're using in the new branding that's coming up for Flux Academy. So I basically started testing them around, all caps, uh, this one on, on dark colors and on light colors. So as you can see, I'm basically duplicating a lot of the artboards just to see how it would look in this colors, how it would look, you know, thin, light, just basically trying a bunch of things. Um, also tried, uh, the dark kind of like background where the video goes all the way and figured out that I like this. After I've basically, I think I decided that I like this approach most, I've started also playing around with the other section, with the second section of the manifest. I kind of like imagine these would go up one by one and take up most of the screen. Um, I figured out I like this best, kind of gave them these kind of like little gradient dots at the end. I thought it was kind of like a cool detail. And basically then I started to go ahead and start putting it all together, uh, change the whole theme to a kind of like a dark theme. And for every project that I had here, basically created these um, tag cards in a color that's relevant to the project itself. And uh, yeah, that's where we are. I've decided to change the about section to kind of one where we've got a parallax effect of multiple images. I thought this can really show more of, you know, the my experience and stuff that I went through. Um, yeah, and basically this is where we are right now. So I think I think we're at a, a good spot. I think this looks much more person personal, right? Versus the template one that didn't have a lot of personality. This is much more me, I feel. Um, all right, let's take it to development. So now I'm going to start developing it in Webflow, but since we've used the Reloom library, basically, as you can see, I, I have basically the names of these components, header 114, layout 134. Basically, I already, I'm going to just copy and paste them straight into Webflow, just change the color and typography and the content. Should be pretty straightforward. I've got three hours. Let's see how that goes. All right, so we are about nine and a half hours in and I've completed the development of the 10 hour portfolio. Let's see what we have. So we've got this hero section with the video of me and my kids and it's kind of like looping from an empty chair to an empty chair, which I kind of love. It's pretty seamless, I guess, the, the looping of the video. Um, so that's great. Now we're scrolling in here and we've got the manifest coming up and it's kind of like animating in. And then we've got the projects. Um, that's pretty pretty similar to the previous one, I would say, although we've got these tags that are kind of like in the color of the project itself, which is nice. Then we've got this parallax uh, photos with the journey. And then we've got a bunch of testimonials here. Uh, and the way that I've animated each one of these lines is that I've created, I gave each one of these line a class, slide up, and then created an interaction that is triggered to every line that has this class. So every time, a line scrolls in, it has this nice interaction to it. So overall, pretty quick development. And actually working on this gave me the idea for the 100 hours portfolio, which I'm going to start working on right now. So this one has a personality kind of like, okay, I'm a designer and I'm also dead. So for the 100 hours uh, portfolio, what I'm thinking about is this, maybe take some more kind of like sides of my personality and try to, so let's say I like playing the piano, I'm li I listen to punk music or, uh, you know, I like whiskey and take each one of these things and create a different vibe for the website. So kind of like, you know, how popular it is to have like a light mode and a dark mode. So maybe you have like five different modes where you can switch things around the portfolio would look completely different. So it's actually designing basically something like five different portfolios. I think that sounds ambitious. I've actually, 100 hours for a project is huge. It's gonna give me multiple days to kind of think about this. Maybe I'll use some AI to create the sets. I've got some pretty cool ideas. Let's start working on it.
Wow, little did I know that 100 hours would not take me a few days. It actually took me more than a month of work and I was way over my head. So let's see the result. When I'm loading the website, it starts off loading the personalities. This time it's loaded. Ron Segal is a designer who likes typography. And we've got this menu here that I can go ahead and switch the theme. It would change the image with this cool effect. It would load a different uh, typography as you can see, uh, likes his family like Spunk Rock, and it's it's just changing the whole theme. So you have these very cool images that I've created with AI, combine them with professional photography, um, with these amazing typefaces that I found from premium, uh, you know, foundries. And when you scroll through the portfolio, the typography and the theme would stay. So of course, if I change the font to a different, you know, theme here, and then I would go scroll through the portfolio, then the whole portfolio would be with a different theme. And that actually looks very, very cool. I love the transition. I love all of these type animation that honestly, I didn't know how to do before, but it turned out very, very cool. Uh, I've learned a lot. There was actually so much that went into making this website. And as you can see, this is the footer. Of course, the typography in the footer is changing all the time. I give credit here to all of the good uh, font foundry that had me with the imagery. And this is so cool. I actually think that I'm going to do a full one, two hour workshop on how I've built this with Webflow and a little bit of custom code, actually a lot of custom code. Uh, if you wanna enroll in that workshop, please check the link below this video. It's going to be so cool. And what do you say? Let me know in the comments, which portfolio you thought was best one hour, 10 hour, 100 hours? Is it worth spending 100 hours on your portfolio? Whatever the answer is, I want you to know that whatever budget you have, one, 10, 100 hours, there's no excuse for not having your portfolio. You can see that with something like Webflow, there's unlimited creativity that can be applied to show your personality and your skills on your portfolio. So no excuse, make sure you have a portfolio on and I will see you on the next video. Peace out.